Ladies and gentlemen, from the world's most famous arena, the mecca of boxing, Madison Square Garden, New York City. We are set to go with a special super middleweight world championship featured attraction. We are live on DAZN and Sky Sports box office, and it's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA. We're sponsored by William Hill. StubHub, Tecate, the official beer of boxing, Hennessy, Never Stop, Never Settle, and JD Sports. This bout is sanctioned under the auspices of the New York State Athletic Commission, the World Boxing Association, the President, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza, the Supervisor is Oliver Gomez, and the World Boxing Council. The President, Mauricio Suleiman, the Supervisor is Jill Diamond. Introducing your three judges scoring this world title featured attraction from ringside, Glenn Feldman, Kevin Morgan, and Steve Weisfeld. And at the side of the bell, your third man in the ring, referee Charlie Fitch. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC Diamond, Ring Magazine, and WBA Super, Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, Fighting out of the red corner, the challenger. He stands with his head trainer, Jean-Marc Toesca. He wears the silver with white trim. He scaled 11 stone, 12 pounds, or 166 pounds. This two-time Olympian has a professional record consisting of 37 victories, three defeats. He has 21 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the former two-time champion of the world and the reigning WBC Silver Smoothaway champion, hailing from Monte Carlo by way of Cameroon. Please welcome Hassan Endam. Endam. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner. He stands with his head trainer, Joe Gallagher. He wears the red with the white trim. He scaled 11 stone, 13 pounds, 10 ounces, or 167.6 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. 25 victories, no defeats. He has 18 wins coming by way of knockout. He represents an outstanding family boxing tradition as he is one of the four Fighting Smith brothers. And tonight, he will defend his world title for the very first time, fighting out of and proudly representing his home of Liverpool, England. Please welcome the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC Diamond, Ring Magazine, and WBBA Super, Super Middleweight Champion of the World, Callum Mundo Smith. Smith. Hassan, Callum. Good evening, Hassan. Good evening, Callum. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. Please touch gloves now. Come out fighting at the bell. England with a good run at super middleweight in the 80s. Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank. More recently, Carl Frotch, James DeGale, and now Callum Smith, the world champion at 168 pounds, here making his New York City debut. Hassan and Dom Sergio, known for exciting fights. Known for being experienced, but more than that, resilient and very confident. And a lot of familiarity between these two as former sparring partners, so Callum Smith believes he knows what kind of fight. Hassan and Dom's going to bring tonight. Smith, long and lean, but with good power. Six foot three, 168. And comes out here for round number one, scheduled for the championship 12. Smith in the red, and Dom in the black and white fur. <laughs> Don't say that too often. You could already see the size difference, a huge size difference in. And not only height, but in width. And that is a, that's a long jab that lands from Callum Smith. You know, when Hassan Adam has been at his best, it's when he's moved a lot around the ring. He gave Curtis Stevens fits in a fight a few years back. But to beat a guy like Callum Smith, Endom's going to have to get on the inside. He's going to have to make it a fight. And that could be dangerous against a fighter with this much power. Good jab again by Smith. This is about global awareness for Smith. There is a lot to gain by coming to New York City, fighting on an undercard with Anthony Joshua. Joshua is already a huge star. Now he wants to be a worldwide star. His 
brand will just get bigger and bigger by coming here to New York. He recognized that when he saw Canelo Alvarez fight here in December. For Smith now, an introduction to the United States audience. And he comes in, again, as the champ. Well, they do call him El Mundo. That means world, the world. So he wants to be the champion of the world. He wants to fight and defend his title around the world. Well, that's what's exciting, too, Sergio, is that you could be a world champion. We used to be very, uh, you know, we're very, I don't know, arrogant here in the United States. We always thought, well, to, to, if you're going to be a world champ, of course, you must fight in the United States. You must fight in New York. That has not been the case the last 10, 15 years. But now it's still recognized as, hey, there's something to be gained by coming here to New York City. I agree. If you want to be the best in the world, you want to fight around the world. Smith looking to Stay measure. Neck. Buries a hook. Along with that jab, you can see the amateur pedigree, the calm from Smith as well. And Dan will try to make it a little more of a firefight. It's a long jab by Smith. You get the feeling he could control this fight with just that. And Dom told us he wanted to break the distance, but I mean, just judging off the size alone, I don't think he's going to be able to just uh, get in the inside and fight his fight. Murata was beating him, and he's not as big as Callum Smith. It's the body shots that actually broke down and down in the inside. Slow pace here in round one, methodical hey, for foot. Callum Smith. I think that's and Dom's fight, early at least. You want to move around the ring. Oh, and down he goes! Excellent hook by Callum Three. Smith, and then Dam is hurt. Step to me! Step to me! Let me see your gloves. You're good. Okay. And Dan went down six times against Kid Chocolate, four times against David Lemieux. Final seconds of this round. Can he survive? He's down again. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Gets That's a warning a there by Charlie Fitch. That was right, not a knockdown. Okay. And then Dan will see round two. Barely. Got to control that. It was a check hook that actually caught him, and Dom got a little bit too aggressive. He was really hurt. I'm, I'm, look, Brian, he survived the round. I just think the size disparity is going to be way too much to overcome if you're in Dom. He was seriously hurt with that check hook. I didn't know if he was going to get up, Sergio, the way, the way he was. You know, clawing. He was trying, but wow, he looked hurt. I mean, Endom has been down 12 times in three opponents in his career, but I just think the size is way too much. Callum Smith is a big, big fighter and a big puncher. Round two, and Dam able to get up, was checked out by the doctors. We welcome in right now Daniel Jacobs, who joins us ringside. Daniel, good to see you. Thank you guys for having me. I'm sorry I'm speaking so fast, but it's happening quickly here, Daniel. <laughs> As you can see, give me your thoughts on round one, what you just saw. Well, this uh, Caleb guy, Smith, is a big fighter. He's strong, he's long, and he doesn't know how to use his reach and his range. I mean, we've, I've seen uh, Endom in the past, and I know he's a great boxer. Oh, but... another hook! And Three, it does happen fast. Four, and we've seen five, this before. Hassan Endom going seven, down and getting eight, right back step up. Step to me, Hassan. Look up Brazilians okay. in the dictionary. You'll see a You're picture good. of that man right there. Smith calmly moving in was calmly watching from the neutral corner, looking to counter. And Dam trying to fight back, trying to fight back a little bit. Brian Smith is throwing some textbook shots. I mean, these are clinical, what he's doing out there. Yeah, the right hand, lead right hand right there. Firing back with a hook, and Dam coming back and digging to the body. Daniel, you mentioned this is a tough package in Callum Smith to fight with the height and just and the calm way he's able to extend. Absolutely. He has a fierce, calm spirit about himself when he approaches, but he's very textbook about his approach. And he, you can tell he's very talented, but I love his defense. I'm seeing really good defense from him, and that's what you expect from a champion like his, himself. Daniel, if we get a chance, we'll ask you about your, your thoughts now. You've been able to process your fight against Canelo Alvarez. Want to get your thoughts on that and hopefully your thoughts on Triple G. You made a, a great effort against Triple G. That was a very close fight. If we get a chance here, we, we get through things. 
and Dom, and Dom told us he wanted to break the distance, but every time he gets moved by that left hook of Smith, I just don't see him fighting, winning in the inside. I, I, that's not his fight. And Smith is able to calmly, you see the arsenal, calmly throw lead rights, have a long snapping jab, dig in with hooks, just the total package. Caleb Smith keeps his hands up. He catches punches. He's an excellent counter puncher. And he digs down to the body. Long jab there by Smith. Final 30 seconds of round number two. Super Middleweight Championship of the World. And Callum Smith showing the class so far here to the fans in the U.S. Good jab there by Endam. Able to pierce through the guard. As we get into the final seconds here, Danny, your thoughts now. Give me your thoughts now that you've been able to process the fight against Canelo. How, how did you think it went? Well, it's still for me, I thought the fight could have been at least a draw. I thought it was a competitive fight. Canelo was very strong. He was good in his defense. But for me, I thought I still could have edged out a draw at least if I didn't see myself winning. But I think for me, making the 160 pound was too much for me. And going up to 160 pound division for me might be my next move. You say going to 168 is your next next stop there. Do you watch a fight like this almost in a scouting situation, how you would fare? Because with the politics of it all, this is a realistic fight for you at some point in the next year. Well, absolutely. And I wanted to because I've never really seen Caleb Smith before in the past. I've heard of him, but this is my first chance getting to see him live, and he's a big, strong competitor. He's talented. I'm looking forward to it because I left, and if I do go to middleweight, uh, super middleweight division, I would have left a very stacked middleweight division. So to go up with this competition in the super middleweight division is exciting for me. There's the counter hook again by Callum Smith. Your thoughts on what you're seeing. This is the man at 168, Daniel, if you're going up. Your, your quick thoughts. I love it. I think he's very talented. I think he's strong. And I think his height and his range is his key to victory in, in every fight. Uh, I look forward to moving up and hopefully facing such a champion. I, I like what you said, Daniel. You, you dug a little deep there by you know, in your analysis, saying he has a calm spirit about him. That's, that, uh, that's well put. Yeah, and that demeanor can be very, very pressuring. And it can tire you out if you're the opponent because Mentally, there's a mental battle going on inside. And a guy with such a stature as Smith coming in with such a poise, he's very, very dangerous, and you're not going to know where punches are coming from. Heavyweight championship is next. Anthony Joshua, Andy Ruiz. You're watching the super middleweight championship of the world. Callum Smith and Hassan Endam. And you see the copy box stats. It is all Callum Smith. Brian Kenny with Sergio Mora, Chris Mannix, Daniel Jacobs, one of the top middleweights in the world. Now possibly moving up to super middleweight joins us here ringside. Quick thoughts, Daniel, on Triple G against Steve Rolls next week. I uh, don't know too much about Rolls, but I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Golovkin back in action. I want to see if he lost the step, if he still have the grit, if he still have the skills. Uh, but in general, I know that uh, Golovkin is going to bring it. So regardless of what, I'm a fan and I want to see him fight. Excellent. That'll be next week right here on DAZN. Smith working over Hassan Adam. Adam. Good head movement there. He's got into a good defensive mode, and he'll need to stay that way. Counters with a cuffing right. Man, I, I tell you, Brian, and Dom has guts. He really has guts. He's, he's fighting he, well right here, he's Sergio. He's fighting well off the, off the back foot and with his back against the ropes, but he needs to move. I mean, he can't fight in the inside against the bigger man like this. He's but digging he, in right now. There's no question. He but, has found a good rhythm. But that was what his game plan was. He told us, I want to break the distance. I want to get in the inside with the bigger man. And he's keeping his word. That was a pretty good right hand that Endom landed right there. Calvin Smith took it well, but probably his best shot of the night. Body shot there by Endom in the inside. Yeah, Endom, no question. He was able to make things happen by moving his head and countering with hard shots. Of course, you've got to keep that going. Now he battles back. Good exchange inside. Great exchange. Callum Smith was looking for that check hook. Almost landed it again. See the uppercut there by Smith. And a right hand, and that hurts it down. Wow, he is just fast. That's a, Dan, your thoughts on, the, on that fast right hand? I, I'm looking at it, and it was a strong, short, crisp right hand. For such a big guy, he can throw short, compact punches. I like what I'm seeing. Daniel, you fought very well against Canelo. It's great seeing you here tonight. Love to see you in there again at either 168 or 160. Maybe we'll see you next week with Triple G here, all right? Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh! Ouch, stop Down the fight. Goes. They should Three. stop the fight. Four. And damn, five, badly hurt. Six. Vince is counting. Eight. He 
cannot be saved by the bell. No. No. And that's it. No, it is over. Right. Daniel, it's thank you so much. Right this fight is done. Callum Smith has defended here in New York City. Charlie Fitch, the referee, did exactly what he needed to do. This man would keep getting up. The way his, his head bounced off the canvas, do not let him continue. That could be very dangerous. Good call there by Charlie Fitch. Explosive work by Callum Smith. Through every single round, he raises his hands in triumph. That was a fantastic performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Charlie Fitch calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 56 seconds of round number three. Your winner by TKO. He's still undefeated and still the WBC Diamond, the Ring Magazine, and WBA Super, Super Middleweight Champion of the World from Liverpool, England, Callum Moon.